always great to be here. I love you guys. You know, my, I just want to tell you, uh, I want to thank you for your love and the way you received me and the way you received Pastor Krista. Right a couple minutes before we got started, I took a walk to the back and several of the fellows were high-fiving me and, and uh, shaking my hand. And then I love you guys so much and, and thank you for your love. i got to tell you that I have a word. Uh, I have a word for you. Let me uh, get to that. God, uh, this is how God works. I prepared an entire sermon last night. Seeking the Lord, had an entire sermon for you. Work on it, bless you. That's, that's a hearty speech. That's what you call that one. And I prepared a message for you. I got up this morning and I'm taking a shower. And I felt God say, scratch that message. And start brand new. Do I even have time to do that, God? So I sat down and, and uh, the Lord dropped a, a word on my heart for you. And so I put it all together. So this thing is it's so fresh for me right now. That I don't even know what I'm doing. But I know I have a word from God for you. And so this is how it came about. I saw a sign the other day. And the sign said, new rules. And this morning God said, you got to talk to them about some new rules. Everybody's saying new rules. New rules. So what we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, a man named Benai in the Bible. And I'm going to tell you the old rules. And then tell you how he, he broke the old rules and came up with some new rules. So what I'm looking at today are some champions. I'm looking at some fighters. I'm looking at some people that, that were destined to lose is what it looked like, but really God had a purpose for you to be winners and champions. As long as you play by the new rules. Can I hear an amen? amen? You used to have to play by the old rules. Now we play by God's rules. Amen. And God's rules just turn you around. So in, uh, in 2 Samuel 23, I'm going to tell you a little bit about a man named Benaiah. So here's where Benaiah comes from. In the beginning of uh, David's reign, he's running and hiding, and some guys come and they join David. The Bible says that they were in debt, and they were in distress, and they were discontented. They call them the three Ds. Debt, distress, and discontented. And they're no aim, and they ain't going nowhere. But the Bible says David became their captain. So these guys that were considered losers by the old rules suddenly began to play by new rules and they wanted to be his mighty army. They were scared to fight. They were losers. One of those men is a guy named Benaiah. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about him. He went from the 3D from, from being in debt, distressed, discontented to being a champion. New rules versus old rules. Can I, can I see your hands if, if you believe you're a champion this morning? I want you to believe it. I want you to walk out here and say, I am. You're here because you are a champion. You're here because you're, you're here. If you ever see that I write on Facebook, if, you, if I ever make any reference to you, I always use the word hero. I always. Do me a favor. Turn to your neighbor and say, you are a hero. You are a hero. Amen. Do you know what a hero does? A hero sees a problem and does something about it. That's what a hero does. They see a problem, they do something about it. You've seen some problems in your life, and you're doing something about it. You're at the dream center changing your lives. So let's, let's look at this one. Number one, in, in, uh, in 1 Samuel 23, number one, the old rule was there's fights you can't win. 